Hi everyone from a beautiful day in the Commonwealth. Just found a spare spot of land to show you these settlement objects that come with this mod. It's a massive mod. It's called Atlas Summit Redux. It's got so many aspects to it. It's just so much fun. It's 2017 by Mr. Colonel Mustard and I have had a brilliant time with this today. I, I love this mod. So these things, once you've done it, once you've done the two quests and you have claim the home you can build these things check out that sign it's so cool i like the bed really like this barricade and this guard tower that is awesome i'm going to be using those everywhere i love it plus there's this radar dish which is tuned to a custom radio station that you also get with this mod crazy but fab Okay, so once you have downloaded the mod, by the way, power armor, check that out. Something finally got me out, my new Coca-Cola. <laughs> and this is very nice. Uh, the helmet really looks quite insectoid and scary, though. Um, and I will get out of it for the purpose of, you know, noise and the UI. But uh, yeah, to start this place... Uh, just head over to where are we vault 111 and go to the billboard okay so this isn't going to be a full quest run through um because it was quite long but just a brief overview really so head for the billboard and you will find a downed vertibird oh hello and <laughs> As soon as I got here, I thought, oh, I really like the look of that. So I was really pleased that I was able to make one of those radar dishes. There's an intact terminal here. And there are bits and pieces in these crates. Oh, they make such a cool noise when they open. So if you use this, it gives you a clue as to where to go next. So where we're aiming for ultimately is at the summit, but as you can see, there's no information about that. So we need to head elsewhere, and that elsewhere turns out to be over by the Poseidon, whatever it's called. Bear with me. I mean, this quest will take you from one end of the map to the other, literally. Okay, so Poseidon Energy, and then that will take you to Outpost Echo. Rim... <laughs> Grim night. Can't see a thing. Alright, so we want to be in there. Oh my god. Have to take the long way around. Here we go. And this place is awesome. Absolutely awesome. There are plenty of things to kill. We've come in at the end of it, really. It's a dungeon, you know. Gives you the clues to move on to the next thing. Um, the radio drives me nuts. <laughs> I've never loved it, you know. Um, banging away in my ear. I rarely have it on. But look at this place. A little bit dark. Actually, I found the player home even darker, weirdly. Um, but there's plenty to explore, plenty to pick up. There's new stuff. Oh, see, I just knocked that off. But there's a whole uniform there, and it's nice looking. Um, bits and pieces everywhere. So whatever you don't pick up when you're running through here, you can always come back uh, and pick it up later, you know? It's big. It's, there's loads of sections, barracks, and whatever. In here, you'll find synths to fight, rad roaches, and various other things. It basically it takes you by the hand the whole time. It's really not difficult, you know. Um, it's not not like Far Harbor puzzle type difficult. God, I've just finished those. That fifth one was a nightmare. I had to Google it. <laughs> I don't care who knows. It was, it was tough, man. Could not work it out. All right, so let's head to the player home. Okay, so here we are at the other end of the world. I'll show you exactly where. There's the rocky cave, and here we are. And, wow. 
what a place to be you have to unlock it using the terminal up here and then in you go it is something i mean really amazing the elevator ride seems to be quite long if if it's too long i'll add some appropriate music Yay, okay, so it's quite dark, that's the first observation. When you get here, it's also in a bit of a mess, so um, you will get the quest to clean it up. Look out, these decontamination arches are amazing, aren't they? And there is so much to discover in here. In its dungeon state, before you clean it all up, there are mobs in here to kill also and loads of stuff to pick up and it does warn you make sure you've picked up everything you want before you upgrade the home so there's a map because i'm going to miss things straight away i'm telling you now <laughs> there's a map um and just gives you the general idea of the layout of the place useful okay so let's start in 1a uh, power armor depot medical laboratories and barracks You'll need your ID card. So the barracks are smart. There's a bathroom over there in that corner. They've got their gym and the equipment has all the usual buffs. Government property, no trespassing. Here's your power armor stations. And needless to say, there's name storage everywhere, all appropriate for the section that you're in, which is brilliant wow so chem station old medical terminal here are you one of those people like me that insists on reading everything i do, i just can't i need to know you know <laughs> i think it's because i am so nosy i like to know the backstory of places and the story that comes with this home is superb i think the model has done an excellent job on giving you the why and the where okay so moving on to section 1b war room command etc this is a useful feature tactical map i haven't availed myself of it but look you can see all the map markers uh, although you still do need to obviously go and discover them so which one was this 2a access checkpoint alpha oh my god do you see what i mean about the layout it's like what okay so here's a hanger with a verti bird that literally will only go to one place and that's the edge of this glowing sea area how cool to have it though um for those who play survival mode i can't imagine playing this in survival mode that must be so hard So yeah, nice. Bit of a hop there. Very, very, very cool. So yeah, you get three sets of um, power armor, by the way. With this mod, amazingly. It's got all the facilities. There's a machine down here that takes pre-war money so you can buy your drinks I must say they left this kitchen in a bit of a state the previous occupants not what I expect in the military at all heading to the weapon depot look at this and oh my god I've got to show you the range it is terrific this really blew my skirt up when I saw this you know to me this just looks like oh I don't know I've never seen anything like it you just imagine cardboard cutouts coming out 
you know, you have to make a split second decision as to whether it's a little old lady or a thug. <laughs> so cool. That is amazing. Okay, right, the vaults. So, I don't actually care for these simulations myself. I, have, I did a couple in a previous mod that I was looking at. And they were all right, but, you know, this one, though, you actually get rewards for, which is very cool. And you can get into this lift here, and it'll take you down to the four different vaults. And for each one you complete, you get a reward. So I don't have those yet. I may or may not do it, depending. But yeah, this is amazing to me, and I love this. Okay, let's head back. See if I can remember my way. Unlikely. Okay, so this will, this is a really interesting feature. These um, display cases, every single one of them has got stuff in and they have a tell me more button that gives you details about what's in there. That is very cool and there are loads of them. Look at that. All the um, past presidents, I'm assuming. Bathroom. And these are your quarters, by the way, I'm assuming. There's also uh, coffee. You can brew your own coffee here. It takes the water off of you and adds a cup of coffee. Very nice. Oh my God, somebody's smoking a cigar in here. It's going to stink. But kind of in a nice way. I, I like the idea of um, cigar smoke. Never smell it anymore since they stopped you smoking in pub pubs. Okay, so this is another level of fabulousness look at that map I wish I could make one of those and your bedroom that's gotta go <laughs> I definitely don't want him over my bed I'm assuming he's the, um, the current president Eden is it I don't even know honestly I can't keep up with the law you can turn the fireplace on and off, and here's dog meat's bed. I forgot to say, actually, there are supply crates in here that you can open up, and when you do, it adds more features to the home. Oh, wow. I mean, see what I mean about how much there is? I can only touch upon it, and I feel like I just need to say, yeah, download it and play it. Some people I noticed in the comments, which I've literally just read, saying that they had issues... Uh, with radiation down here, which I have not. Um, I'm not in a power armor suit and I've had no issues at all, so that's kind of weird. Oh god, there he is again, he's haunting me. So, yeah, this place, I don't know. So much to see. These, I said before, they're not as scary as Skyrim mannequins, but they're still quite creepy-looking things, aren't they? Okay, well, I think that just about covers most of the main features of this place. Like I say, it's big. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. And the quest was, to me, the best part of this whole thing. I think he did an excellent job on that. Plus, I really like the home too. If I could just make it a bit lighter in there, it would be pretty perfect. Okay, I will leave you with that view. Call that the end of this wee video. Say thanks as always for watching and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody.